Hello everyone, welcome to Elephant Robotics channel. Today I'm going to talk about some robotic arms in the world. If you are interested in robotics and AI, then this video might help. Just keep watching. A robotic arm is a type of mechanical arm. It is usually programmable and mimics functions of a human arm. Such arm is typically connected by joints that allow rotation and translational displacement. Robotic arms are irreplaceable devices capable of performing a specific task or job quickly, efficiently, and with extreme accuracy in the modern production process. The earliest research on robotic arms dates back to the 1940s, when the United States Argin and Oak Ridge National Laboratories used remote robotic arms to deal with radioactive materials. After 70 years' development, Robotic arms become one of the most common mechanical devices used in cutting, assembling, pelletizing, spraying, and other occasions, and in medical surgery, aerospace exploration, military reconnaissance. While most of these arms are usually heavy and complex to program, and they are often called industrial robotic arms, lightweight robotic arms have come to the stage with more flexibility and also reserve core functions. They are relatively smaller and tinier, but still programmable to operate precisely. Nowadays, with lightweight robotic arms emerging in the modern world, Elephant Robotics focuses on numerous types of robotic arms, each designed with specific functions and abilities to suit particular environments and requirements. While industry and assembly robotic arms are still the most common robotic arms today, Lightweight robotic arms provide solutions for entering education and research settings. They are relatively small, affordable, and easy to program. Currently, Elephant Robotic MyCobra 280 series is a 6 of desk robotic arm with a payload of 250 grams, and it comes in four sections. Despite the mechanical parts being the same, the specifications differ quite a lot. Let's look at some similarities. First, they are affordable. The prices for my copper M5 stack, my copper pie, my copper Jason Nano, and my copper for Arduino is 599, 799, 799, and 449 dollars. They are all six stop, and their working range is the same, which is 280 millimeters. All four sections support Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. In terms of operating systems and programming languages, they will support Linux and Python. First one, drag and teach. My Cobra M5 stack can independently operate, while My Cobra Pi and My Cobra Jason Nano should be operating with external screens, and My Cobra for Arduino should be working with a computer. Press OK to enter main control, and press record button and run button. Now it is recording, and drag as you want. After that, press save, then press play and run button. The arm will repeat what you have done. My Cobra Pi and My Cobra Jason Nano should be operating with an external screen. So run the drag and teach program, and drag as you want, and this arm will repeat what you have done before. My Cobra for Arduino should be working with a computer. Set up a suitable platform and run the drag and teach Python script in the terminal and drag the arm as you want. After that, the arm will repeat what you have done. My Cobra M5 stack was introduced by the year 2020 with M5 stack Atom and basic ESP32 with dual display screens. It supports the faster visual operation and monitoring work status. So programming My Cobra M5 stack is simple and easy for every user. In terms of platform, my Cobra Pi runs on Debian or Ubuntu platform. Built-in RS and blockly visual programming enable my Cobra Pi to operate with relatively high scalability. It is regarded as the most affordable portable processor. As Raspberry Pi aims to promote basic computer science education in schools with low-cost hardware and free software, users can enjoy a friendly educational community with the help of the Raspberry Pi Press and Raspberry Pi Foundation. With numerous books for computing and gaming and the inspirational community in an easy-to-use platform of Raspberry Pi, 
This version is suitable for users, ranging from beginners who want to learn Python or set up a lightweight platform to STEM educators and institutions for further research. My Cobalt Jason Nano is based on the Jason Nano AI board and equipped with a camera. My Cobalt Jason Nano is capable of quick image processing, robot algorithm development, RS simulation learning, and so on. Combined with NVIDIA's powerful SDKs such as DeepStream, Vision AI applications and services, it is an ideal version to deepen AI and robotics learning for developers. This boosts the potential of the MyCobalt Nano's secondary development. In terms of extensions, MyCobalt for Arduino provides more potential. It is compatible with multiple Arduino or Arduino light boards and extensions. Arduino software is easy to use for beginners, yet flexible enough for advanced users. While most other microcontroller systems are limited to Windows, the Arduino software runs on common platforms, including Windows, Macintosh OS X, and Linux OS. This version focuses on the integrity of robotic arms and pays more attention to improving the simplicity of research and development of users. With a range of Arduino boards, such as MKR Wi-Fi 1010, UNO, Mega 25 and 60, and extensible software to choose from. Developers and designers can make their unique microbe to meet their demands. For beginners, microbe M5 stack might be their best choice with affordable price. It's already made with M5 stack board. Users can start with drag and teach operation. Because of many open source resources on Raspberry and NVIDIA's community, Microbe Pi and Microbe Distant Nano are more suitable for STEM educators and for a deeper AI and robotics learning. Because of possible replacements of Arduino boards, Microbe for Arduino is more suitable for developers who want more flexibility and higher customization. Okay guys, so we have looked at some similarities and differences of these four versions of MyCobo 280 series. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up and share it to your friends. We will see you in the next video.